Now, ground beef. What is in ground beef, you ask? Ground beef. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have a special video by Live B. The nine vegan alternatives I can't live without. This video is very special because Liv will show us what she eats instead of real animal foods. It will be a systematic review. I will display what she eats and then I will give you an alternative whole animal food. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hello, I am Liv. Hello. And I create easy vegan recipe videos on this channel. So today oh. I am not coming at you from my kitchen, obviously. Yeah. So today I'm going to be talking about the nine vegan alternatives and products that I cannot live without. <laughs> that title is a little bit of an exaggeration. Obviously, in order to be vegan, you don't need like cheese and meat substitutes or Obviously. you don't need super processed products. I personally don't have a problem with eating processed vegan alternatives. I think it helps a lot. Nobody actually does. Vegans will always tell you eat a whole food plant-based diet, a sensible whole food plant-based diet. In the end, nobody does because everybody craves meat. A lot of people with the transition to going vegan and also I really like vegan cheese, which I'll uh, talk about in this video. But I thought that sure. I'd share with you guys the ones that over the years I have found to be like my tried and true go-to favorites. These are things that I buy at the grocery store. Get to it, please. Bases. These are truly the things that I just okay, absolutely love great. and are made by companies who I think are killing it. So without further ado, <laughs> Let's begin. Okay. Companies that are killing it. Yes, they are killing it. They're making money of gullible customers that will buy processed junk food instead of real food. So the first one is mm. the Dea medium cheddar style <laughs> farmhouse. Blog. What else? Yes. Comes in right. a package like this. Mm -hmm. Dea is a brand who has always had people who either love it or hate it. And people just love to hate on Dea. Um, recently, they were purchased by a company uh, that I don't know which company it is. I okay, let's interrupt it right there. Let's see what is in Dea. So here we have the medium cheddar style block by Dea. This is the exact same product that Liv uses in her video. And here you have the ingredients. Starts innocent with filtered water, but continues with tapioca starch, coconut oil, vegan natural flavors, whatever that is, pea protein isolate, non-GMO, expeller pressed canola oil, chicory root extract, salt, xanthan gum, lactic acid, which is vegan, tree calcium phosphate, pea starch, potato protein, vegan enzyme, cane sugar, annatto, which is some sort of coloring, and coconut cream. And that leaves us with six grams of fat, seven carbs, which is absolutely ridiculous for cheese to have so many carbs, and one gram of protein, one measly gram of protein. Now let's have a look at real cheese. Here we go, cheese ingredients. The main ingredient in cheese is milk. That is pretty much it, cultured milk equals cheese. And here you have the nutrition facts. For the equal amount, it is 28 grams again, just to make sure. See, 28 grams compared to 28 grams. We have 9 grams of fat and we have zero carbohydrates. Super important. And on top of it, 7 grams of protein. Of course, we don't even start to count the vitamins such as vitamin A, a little bit of vitamin D, B12, of course, and calcium. So, as a sensible, normal, rational person, you will realize that there is absolutely no replacement for a whole food. Let's proceed. Um, recently, they were purchased by a company that I don't know which company it is. I wish I did. I'll put it on the screen. Hmm. Um Wait a second. So recently, Dea has been purchased by a Japanese pharmaceutical company called Otsuka. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Because it is not food. It is produced by pharmaceutical complexes. And of course that makes perfect sense because it's nothing but chemicals. The second thing is artisan vegan cheese made in Montreal. So shout Again. out to Canadian companies. So this is the Italiano Gusta Artisanal Vegan 
grating block. Before oh. I even tried it, I was like, okay, that says to me that they don't want you to eat this just on its own. And if mm. you were to open this up and Why? slice it and eat it with crackers. Okay, let's have a closer look. So on the original Gusta Foods homepage, I couldn't find any ingredients. So we have to take Google's word for it. Ingredients starts again with water, organic coconut oil, modifier starch, tapioca again, pea protein, which is an isolate, sea salt, nutritional yeast, vinegar, garlic powder, yeast extract, white vinegar powder, natural flavors, uh, and spices. And here, just a quick reminder, again, dear viewer, regular cheese is made out of milk. That is it. You probably would be disappointed. I don't like eating this. I guess you would call it raw. Um, no, you don't call it raw because it is not raw. It's all just processed chemical slop. It has nothing to do with a raw food. Okay, the next thing, vegan mm. basil. I feel like this is a Canadian product for some reason. I don't, I don't think they have it in the States. If I'm wrong, let me know. But every time I went to the uh, States... Okay, great choice. Basically, margarine. Nothing more and nothing less. Of course, it is easy to be repackaged and sold to the best customers on this planet who are the vegans as vegan basil margarine. It is nothing but canola oil. Let's have a closer look. And here we go. Vegan Bissell ingredients. Oh my God. Ingredients. Canola oil and sunflower oils, 74%. Water, modified palm and palm kernel oils. Fantastic for the environment. Super vegan. Salt, natural flavors. Again, whatever that means. Lactic acid, vitamin A palmitate, vitamin D2, natural color soy lecithin. On that note, of course, this is not true vitamin A, which you would find in animal foods. It is a synthesized chemical, a supplement. So now what would be the real ingredient? What is the whole food? The best case scenario, hands down, would be raw butter. Raw butter ingredients are raw cream and ice cold water. That is pretty much it. Of course, you can add sea salt to it, but that depends. It is not a must. You have butters with and without salt. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the nutrition facts for raw butter, but even if we check regular pasteurized butter, we see zero carbs, first and foremost, and a staggering amount of 49% of the daily RDA of vitamin A. We have vitamin D, which is of course vitamin D3 and not vitamin D2, like in the supplemented plant equivalent. So yet again, an absolute failure. Yes, maybe you came close to the taste of an animal food. However, you have no nutritional value. 98% plant-based ingredients and like two percent milking exactly that is very true and we very well established that it leads to heart disease canola oil all those pressed vegetable oils create heart disease simple as that but they came out with their vegan base enough of that and let's move on okay this next one i also this is a truly i don't know how i could live without it because we buy two of these every single week we go through this stuff like you wouldn't believe so this is the Earth's own So Fresh. Did anybody notice she tries to replicate dairy in every single meal? Yes, I understand it is called the nine vegan alternatives. However, an alternative, a true plant alternative could be, hey, there's a beef burger. Now we're gonna eat a bean burger. But all of those alternatives try to replicate the real thing. So now let's have a closer look at Earth's own oat milk. Show me the nutrition. So at a first glance, that looks pretty good, right? Hey, we have vitamin A in this oat milk. That is magical. Enough calcium as well. And even 50% B12. But not only micronutrients. We do have four grams of protein on 250 milliliters. That is not little, right? Well, not so fast, dear vegans. If you look into the ingredient list, you will see it is an oat base, which means water and gluten-free oats. Then we have sunflower oil, again, super bad for heart health. We have gel and gum, salt, natural flavors, emulase, which is crazy because emulase is an enzyme that breaks down starch. 
you as a starch eater, as a herbivore, you wouldn't need it, right? But to digest this milk, yes, you do need added enzymes. And on top of that, we have the vitamins and the minerals, right? No, we have supplements. We have tricalcium phosphate again, we have vitamin A palmolite again, vitamin D2, riboflavin, vitamin B12, zinc, gluconate. So this is not a food, this is simply a supplement beverage, nothing more and nothing less. So now, what is the real thing? What is the real food that actual humans eat or drink? It would be, of course, raw milk. So here you can see that they desperately try to recreate the nutritional micro profile of real raw milk. Vitamin A, iron, calcium, and of course, all the soluble vitamins, B12, D, so on and so forth. If you drink raw whole milk, you do not need any supplementation. Simple as that. In any case, you do realize that the statement I can't live without is absolutely true. Because without the fortified foods, without the supplements, she couldn't even maintain her diet for a couple of weeks. But yeah, this is oat milk. It froths so well in my milk frother. Real milk throbs even better. In one cup of this, it has 50% of your recommended B12 for the day. It has 30% of your calcium. It's got vitamin yeah, D, sure. so it's just, it's fortified, same as dairy milk. So mm -hmm. drinking- Fortified. The term fortified is basically a lazy excuse for people that don't want to pop pills and don't want to identify as a supplementarian and therefore they get it in their supermarket. Just gulp it down. It is nothing but a supplement. This is not real food. Coffee creamer. There is one silk coffee creamer that I like. It's the hazelnut one. But all of the other ones, I do not like them. I cannot drink them. Mm. Something about them is just too... It's too sweet. I don't know if they have stevia in them or something. But they have something in them. If you would use regular milk, you would have lactose, a naturally occurring sugar, and it would taste just fine. It, they're just too much. And that's coming from someone who likes really sweet coffee. This one, however, was discovered by my sister. And it is just the Coffee Mate Almond Bliss Coffee Enhancer. That's what it's called. I coffee Enhancer. Great. Let's see how it will enhance the coffee. So, here are the ingredients. Water, cane sugar, almonds, coconut oil, pea protein, baking soda, natural flavor, sea salt, gel and gum, guar gum. That is the enhancement that I need for my coffee right now. When you start analyzing those so-called vegan foods, you will see a repetitive pattern. It is always the same ingredient. Don't you see that it's always the oils, always the pea protein, always the gums, always trying to replicate some sort of animal consistency, desperately trying to recreate the real thing. And of course, failing to deliver proper nutrition. I hear the vegans scream already, yes, but coffee creamer isn't healthy anyways. Yes, that might be true if you use the instant creamer. What you can really use is cream or raw milk. All good. I could just hug it. I just, I just love chemicals. It so much. I wish they would sponsor Why do you me. love Honestly, it? Coffee Mate, if you're watching this, it you doesn't love me. you back. That'd be the best spokesperson for you. Okay, the next one is vegan yes. yogurt. Quick little story. Most vegan yogurt in the past has been absolutely <sighs> disgusting. But now they have drinkable yogurts, they have to-go yogurts, they have yogurts mm. with granola on top. They, they have, have big ones, mm. small ones, like just yogurt everywhere and they're all dairy free. It's, it's shocking. Now there's options for you and you don't have to eat dairy. So <laughs> this one is my new uh. favorite find. This is the Riviera Coconut Milk, what do they call it? vegan delight. Mm -hmm. It's got probiotics, it's got protein, and it is so creamy. A lot of vegan so creamy, you guys. All right, so she tells us we do not need to eat dairy any longer because this here is the alternative. Again, let's have a look. Vegan delight, vanilla made with coconut milk, Riviera. Uh, check this out, it already starts here. With vitamin A, add it. With vitamin B12, add it. <laughs> with vitamin D, add it. Yet again, a fortified chemical concoction. Check out the ingredients. Coconut milk, that is the only thing that you could consider a food. Then it continues with a vanilla preparation, an innocent little vanilla preparation. So what does it consist of? 
cane sugar, water, pectin, again, the natural flavor, lemon juice, concentrate, locust, bean, gum, whatever that is. I, locust, fuck to you. Tapioca flour, cane sugar, faba bean protein, pea protein, calcium phosphate, pectin, natural flavor on top on natural flavor so now what do we learn from this ingredient list an ingredient list usually back in my day i know i'm getting old was an ingredient list of foods now all of a sudden vitamin a and vitamin b12 became foods how come where do you find them none of this is food vitamin d b12 and a all of this is just chemicals just supplemented put into this yogurt the same goes for the pea protein the faba bean protein all isolates all chemicals cane sugar in regular yogurt you do not need to put in any sugar so here yet again regular yogurt ingredients the main ingredient in yogurt is milk nothing more and nothing less then you will add some sort of bacteria to it let it ferment done but even more important is of course the nutritional profile this is the riviera vegan yogurt 20 carbs measly four grams of protein even though they already used isolated protein powders and seven grams of fat the rest yet again super disingenuous vitamin a 40 percent yeah 40 percent of a supplement meanwhile if you look at real yogurt you will see yet again we have a staggering amount of 17 grams of naturally super bioavailable protein and of course 21 percent of b12 real b12 the next thing i want to talk about is protein powder man i just realized i have been on such a journey okay with after so much added supplements in your food you still need a protein powder i'm not gonna even talk about this step let's just skip it all together if you want to use a whey protein ideally a grass-fed whey protein then so be it but this is not food okay the next category is ice cream i know that a lot of you guys probably won't be able to get this brand unless you live in canada this is the president's choice brand this is their vegan coconut milk frozen dessert they currently have, I mm. think, four flavors. They have chocolate, mango, vanilla, and like peanut butter or something. Cool, let's look into it. All right, here we are again. President Choice Chocolate Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Frozen Dessert. That is a tongue breaker. Ingredients, coconut milk, sugar, water, cocoa, tapioca, maltodextrin, dextrose, palmono, and diglycerides carob bean gum gua gum and sea salt as you can see again vegan food doesn't bind if you don't use gum so now i do understand that regular ice cream isn't healthy either however if you look into the traditional preparation of ice cream you will see that the composition was quite simple just milk cream and a sweetener so now i can offer you of course a healthier alternative you can use raw milk raw cream and as a sweetener you can use raw honey then you have a healthy nutritious and delicious ice cream it is a fantastic snack in the summer months and it comes with all the bioavailable nutrition that is amazing not like this chemical concoction here with carabine gum gua gum and whatnot they killed it it is just the absolute most perfect consistency every time it doesn't get too because of the hard gum in the freezer like i could scoop out a chunk it doesn't get too hard it doesn't taste like coconut milk at all this one's just perfect i'm obsessed but why don't you want it to taste like coconut milk? I do not understand. You are a vegan. You are a herbivore. You love the taste of plants, don't you? I love it. Okay, and yes, the last <laughs> thing is oh, the Light Life really? plant-based ground. <laughs> oh. I hate that they can't say ground, like vegan beef or something. Yeah, this call is it what beef. it looks like. It's frozen, I'm sorry. But it nice. literally looks like ground meat look at this it's like that weird texture why do you want it to look like meat i don't understand this i don't know this stuff is so amazing amazing it starts out pink and then mm. when you cook it it turns brown wow just like meat just like regular meat yes and i know beyond meat <laughs> has ground 
meat as well, but we don't have it here at Nova Scotia. Uh, I've never tried it. I've only ever tried the Beyond Burgers. Okay, obviously she craves meat. Let's have a look what is in that ground. So here we go. Light life, plant-based ground. Ingredients, water, pea protein, expelled pressed canola oil, modified cornstarch, modified cellulose, yeast extract, virgin coconut oil, sea salt, natural flavor, beet powder, <laughs> For the coloring. What do we try to replicate here? Could it be blood? I do not know. Ascorbic acid to promote color retention. Aha! Uh -huh. Onion extract, onion powder and garlic powder. Fantastic. All of that brings us 20 grams of protein, which is again a protein isolate, has nothing to do with a whole food and it gives us 10 grams of carbohydrates, 17 grams of fat. Again, ridiculous that you buy a meat that contains carbohydrates. Animal foods do not contain carbohydrates, especially not muscle meat. Now, ground beef. What is in ground beef, you ask? Ground beef. Of course, we do not have any carbohydrates here. We have 14 grams of protein. Oh, but that is less. The plant-based alternative wins. Do you really believe that the pea protein isolate will be assimilated just as good as the protein from beef? Of course not. The biological value is much, much lower. And what a plant-based alternative can never provide is of course B12, which we have in beef here, 35%. I am shook that this even exists. Like, how do we live in a world that has vegan products that are so similar to meat products? It is <laughs> astounding. Yes, it is astounding. How do we live in a world where we do have those products? Could it be that there is an agenda behind this? Could it be that there are huge corporation capitalizing on young people that do not have any idea about nutrition? Could it be that you are compromising your health, your family's health because of propaganda? Could that be? How can it be? I do not know. Guys, this is the video. It is long enough. As you can see, not one so-called alternative was truly that. Not at all. None of those foods provided any significant amount of nutrition. None of them. All were just processed junk food. All of them contained chemicals and ingredients that you can barely read. Absolutely disgusting. This is not food. This is poison. All right, guys. But this is for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef, deliver to your doorstep butcher boxes for you and we have cbd links as well on top of that guys consider supporting bobby's perspective through subscribestar or patreon we have a vip community there where we have skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace